and this is the situation. It appears we never learn from anything. A tanker now, don't try to even attribute this one to poverty or anything. This is stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupidity. Don't try to say it's like poverty. No, 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 no. Because if you don't learn from your mistakes, if you are somebody who doesn't learn from their mistakes, then it means you are not bright. You are, you, are, you are stupid. Let's just put it plain and simple like that. Now, this happened two days ago on the 1st of May. This tanker, diesel tanker, was driving through Eva, uh, Ahojo, in Kumasi, Sampati. Now, this thing toppled over. And instead of people to learn from their mistakes and run away, you know, they decided that, oh, let's go and fetch food. <laughs> <laughs> this is, in fact, I don't know what to say about Ga some Ghanaians. Let me just put it like that. Some Ghanaians. Because it's like we have no a memory, memory span. We don't remember things. Do you know that that's a, the explosion that happened at Bogoswa It was this year, 2022. Do you know? On the 20th of January. And just three months later, this thing... <laughs> hey! I'm the headless YouTuber, those headless reactions. I'll try it. Yanka! So on the 20th of January 2022, we all had the news of um, an explosion at Bogoso Apiate uh, uh, and an explosion leveled the whole community. If you don't know anything about it, this is the video you can go and watch. The link is in the description. Now, how it all started was there was a, a car burning, a tanker burning. And the driver ran away from the tanker and tried to tell everybody to, you know, stay away. But people start, people were walking towards the tanker, a burning tanker. Some people took out their phones, taking videos and what, what, what. And before they had an explosion, those who were in close proximity perished. Those who were far away perished. Just that the whole place was an eyesore. You can go and watch the video. But this is what happened immediately before the explosion. Watch this video. <laughs> Now, this was news all over, all over Ghana. We were talking about it. It was a topic for like a whole week or two weeks, even a month. Up till now, the town is not the same. They are still trying to, you know, rebuild the town to restore it to its former glory. A whole lot of people lost their lives in this Apiate explosion. The news was everywhere. You can't tell me you didn't hear about this. You can't. Now, three months later, a tanker has toppled over in town. And this, this thing, Kano, one, I don't even know why these diesel and petrol tankers drive through towns and stuff like that. But that's for another day. Now, this tanker has toppled over. And instead of people to run for their lives, they decided to go to their homes, go and take buckets and pans to come and fetch fuel to go and sell. Now, someone will say, oh, this is poverty. No. No. This is not poverty. Because there are poor people who have sense who will not do this. And then there are these people. Because <laughs> any small flame, any, any small thing, can set this whole place ablaze. And all those people, look at them. Somewhere inside the gutters and yeah, 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 yeah. Watch this video. And this is the situation. It appears we never learn from anything. A tanker has toppled over, a diesel tanker. And people are rushing in with buckets, with all sort of containers they can, they can get to, to fetch. Now look at some of them inside the gutters fetching so close. And... One thing with fuel is that once you get close to it and you know you're moving away with the fuel and it leaves a trail. If there's fire, the fire will chase you. If you like go and enter your house, the fire will chase you to your house. <laughs> that, that is one thing about fuel. And these people went to fetch it to go and sell it. 
And from what I'm hearing, they were selling it for 40 CDs and stuff like that. So because of something like 40 CDs, you are going to risk your life like this for 40 CDs. For 40 CDs. You are going to risk your life like this. If somebody has a metal bucket over there and that metal bucket hits another metal bucket or hits the, the ground and there's a little spark, the whole place will burn. The same thing happened somewhere. I saw the video on the internet. I mean, if you see the way, um, <laughs> that one too, it was a tanker that was on the floor and you know, people were fetching the floor and it caught fire. And when it caught fire, even people who were running away, the fire went to chase them. Watch this video. Hey. would have happened if that thing caught fire and someone will say eh, it didn't catch fire so why are you talking so much yes that's how we are in this country we wait for disasters to happen before we talk about them if you are educating people against certain things they will not listen to you this thing happened three months ago instead of people to learn from their mistakes or to learn from it this is what they are doing and once again please don't attribute this to poverty don't tell me there are no jobs if there were jobs people will not do this no it, this, it's looting this is looting actually it's not it, it's stealing because under normal circumstances if um let's say a bus full of rice should fall these same people will go and loot instead of you know guarding it or whatever no, they will go and loot and go and put it in their homes so the same way they will loot um drinks or rice or food items no it's the same way they are looting fuel and this could have turned out horribly wrong apiate happened this year three months this could have been a big disaster for us to talk about that so many people have lost their lives because of this and honestly speaking, if you die from this, this kind of, <laughs> this is stupid death. <laughs> this, this is stupid. What are you going to tell God? Like, if you go, what will you tell him? I was trying to steal food. Like, don't you have sense? How can you? Cotton Nation, please. If you get into any situation like this, run for your life. Run for your life. Don't even get close. Because it's written highly inflammable. You know what can happen to fool if it catches fire. Why would you get so close? Move away. Far away. If this happens by your house, in fact, eject from your house. <laughs> go, go somewhere until the whole thing, you know, they, they come and pack this whole thing before you come back. Because this, and I feel like Ghanaians should learn. So yes, yeah, Cotton Nation, if you're listening to me, learn from this and never repeat this ever. And no, 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 watch other videos on this channel. Tell somebody about Headless. The links are in the description, you can check them out. Yaddy! Yapong!